Did you expect that when you read it? Welcome to the iClassroom, where students are equipped with iPads instead of notebooks, and the teacher uses a smart board instead of a blackboard. My ultimate goal is to uh, work as much with technology as possible. We live in a world where there's technology anywhere and anything I can do to help them, even while I'm teaching English, uh, will just make them a better student overall. Students use these devices to complete homework, take tests, and design extra credit projects. Mrs. Torrey's high-tech teaching has become highly celebrated in Onekama schools. She says it fuels her students' success by helping them stay focused and organized. You never lose your assignments, which is a problem for me. And when they're on paper, it's really easy to lose them. Even if you can't find the answer, she can help you and she can like show you where it is and she can give you like just so much information just because there's so much out there on the internet and everything. It just helps so much. I can tell them as much as I want about something, but with an iPad, I can actually show them and they can see it for themselves and they can do some further exploration that I can't always do with my time in the classroom. Tori's use of technology is not limited to iPads. She also as a smart board, a smart tool that gets students out of their seats and into her lesson. So my students will walk up to it, they can write on it, they can go to different um, links, they can go to anything on the internet, and they have all the control over it. Mrs. Torrey's iClassroom is helping produce A students, but take away the high-tech gadgets and you still have something special, a teacher that cares about students and is devoted to helping them reach their fullest potential. All students would benefit from teachers like her. Um, th there's nothing that she won't do to help a child. If that means extra time, accommodating assignments, whatever it takes, she wants to her students to feel success in the classroom. In Onekamai, Brody O'Connell, 7 and 4 News.